ever looked at um, Kitchen Island. Being framed out. Look at the joints. This one is so, so heavy, so thick. I didn't know they were going to build me a tank when I asked them to build me a kitchen island. It's standard height, 36 inches. <coughs> but we count for 2 inches for the uh, tiles. Toilet was installed. We fixed, we fixed these, we had to pull out this tile, we had to chip away the cement and push these uh, connectors back inside the wall so that our, unit, our fixture can flush them out to the wall. So that was one, so we had to do that for every building because these were sticking out too far. They're just not used to the kind of fixtures that we bought. I mean, the, the system that we bought, the, the mixer, the shower head, um, everything. One unit is about just just the one system together. Because the mixer you have to buy separate. Everything here is separate. Um, so the whole unit together was about eight hundred dollars. That's times three. They're just not used to working with such expensive equipment, such expensive um, pictures. This toilet, I'm lucky if I can fit one ass cheek on it. It's so small. But you know what? It makes the bathroom look big. <laughs> and because this is such a tiny bathroom, that's why we got such a small toilet for this for this bathroom. Uh, everything's pretty much still the same here. We gotta go to Cebu and get more tiles. The foreman didn't give us the right number for measuring this this the measurements for this room. So we end up getting only half of what we need. Doing some laundry today. Trying to get, get caught up with some laundry. Um, we still have five tiles that, even though they, they took them up and redid them, there's still five tiles that need to be taken up again and redone. <coughs> Needless to say, those title guys are not, not working here anymore. Anyways, that's the way it goes. I'm not really stressed out about it. Uh, the guys are making um, two by fours to finish up the kitchen island. that you get here is just raw wood. You, you give them the measurements you want, you have to give them bigger measurements than, than what you need, because they have to plane everything and get it straight. It's really a, a, a funny system here if you, want it, if you want good wood. You cannot buy the wood in the store if you want good wood. In any case, um, these are two, two by sixes by tens, two by six by tens, except this one. So two by six by tens, and then they, you know, shave it down and get it get it all straight to way to whatever size that you need it for. Uh, Joe Seely, I don't know if you'll be proud of me or not, but um, here's your strawberry plants that you gave us a few. What is it? A few months ago now, right? March, March 31st. So March, April, May, June. Uh, almost four months. <clears throat> I'm not sure what else to do with these. They, they just, they're growing, but they're not doing anything else other than just, you know, do I, should I plant them in the ground? Should I leave them in these pots? I'm not really sure. Um, the grapevine is doing excellent. I, I guess this is a really good spot. It's a, it's a little bit of sun, a little bit of shade. Uh, it doesn't burn the plants out. Plants don't get burnt out over here. And, the, and you can see the soil. Look at, look at the soil. This hole is, I don't know, 12 inches deep. Maybe a little bit more than that. 
soil is pretty good. Not red clay. So, hopefully something will happen with the strawberries. I don't know. Over here, there's going to be an outdoor shower. And they're going to use the limestone. Well, they're going to they're going to frame it with the hollow blocks. This will go up up high enough. And then they'll then they'll um, encase it with the limestone that we dug out of the septic tank. Should be pretty. Jake's finishing up his work here. Getting that paint, getting that gray trim on. <clears throat> Nothing to report on over here. We had Lynn's family here a couple days ago, and I made the mistake of allowing them to put um, made the mistake of allowing them to put a um, karaoke machine, video game machine in here, and they basically ruined the tiles. I wouldn't say ruined them, but they're all scuffed up, filthy. Everything has to be redone in here. I mean, the the the, um, the grout. I mean, it's just, they just, you know, beer spilled everywhere. Dirt, mud. Nobody took off their shoes. Um, <coughs> it's like this was like used as like a uh, a bar room for two days. When it's actually a million and a half peso house. So, needless to say, not too crazy about that. Here's a look at the fixture. So how they fixed it, it now goes flush against the wall. But in order to do that, they had to take it, they had to take this out. Ah, we got a sneak in. It's just a nightmare. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have allowed it. I shouldn't have let them get, let them in here and destroy my house. Uh, I mean, even though the house is not done, it's still common practice to take off your shoes. And uh, nobody took off their shoes in here. I don't know why. <laughs> I can assure you that that's not going to happen again. I don't know why this fan is on. Okay, that's off. So, I got just a few more days here. Today's Tuesday, and we're leaving for Cebu on Monday. For some reason, they don't want to do any more painting until the tiles are in. I don't know why. You'd think it'd be the opposite, that they'd want to do all the painting before the tiles are in. But they don't. I don't know. I don't know what the reasoning is behind that. I'm going to... I don't even bother questioning them anymore. It just gives me a headache. Well, Sammy is back. Working on the uh, fence. Much easier job. With the jackhammer. 
Although he prefers jackhammering. Look at the rebar. <laughs> this is what they gave us. Machinano. Yeah. <laughs> Machinano. Thank you for the curved rebar. We really appreciate it. It's actually to feed, but Yeah. All, look at uh, this. All look. the rebar is all bent. Thank you. We love you. <laughs> yeah. Machinano hardware store in End Up a Hole. Um, this is our storage room. I really have to get a better light for here. Look, you can't even tell it's on. But anyways, we had uh, one of the local guys lives next door do the tiles in here. Maybe we should have him do the tiles in uh, in the rest of the place. But I don't know. In any case, yeah, he did a pretty good job. I just gave him this little job to do. Because we have these tiles that we're not using for the uh, Master Villa. We bought set, we brought a different set of tiles. So instead of letting them go to waste, I said, let's tile the, the storage house, which we weren't really gonna do. So now we're, we're tiling this. We're going to, we have all this extra cement board for the ceilings, but it's all in like different shapes and pieces. So I'm gonna have them uh, wall this up with the cement board. So this will actually, and then put the ceiling up. This will actually look like a, a real, a real room and not a garage, not a, not a storage room. <laughs> Um, and then we're gonna put a bed, a bed here. Uh, we have the out, we have the outdoor stove that's gonna go here. And now we'll go back up the refrigerator. That's the air conditioner. I don't know where the, I don't know where the other piece is to it. Um, so that's it. This is what's going on at the house this Tuesday morning. Getting closer to July third when I'm leaving. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Comment. We like the comments. Subscribe and share. Thank you. Help us get up to, um, we're, we're, we're going to hit 3,000 subscribers, I think, within the next couple of days, which is a huge milestone. But um, the next milestone will be 5,000 subscribers. Help us, help us get there. Thanks, everybody.